Today's scripture reading begins in verse 13 of 1 John chapter 4. By this we know that we remain in Him and He in us, because He has given to us of His Spirit. We have seen and testify that the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in Him, and He in God. We have come to know and have believed the love which God has for us. God is love, and the one who remains in love remains in God, and God remains in Him. By this, love is perfected with us, so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment, because as He is, we also are in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear involves punishment, and the one who fears is not perfected in love. We love because He first loved us. Painful situations never mean that God doesn't love you. To believe otherwise is to heed the voice of Satan the deceiver. Think about it this way. Did Jesus' suffering indicate that the Heavenly Father didn't love the Son? Of course not. There are hardships in life we can't always explain, but they can never cancel out or diminish God's love. Realizing divine love is unconditional brings us joy. How wonderful to know that whether you're awake or asleep, no matter what you do or don't do, the Lord's love for you never changes. Realizing divine love is unconditional brings us freedom. You don't have to measure up to some standard in order to be accepted. Since God's love isn't based on your performance, you're freed from trying to earn it, which isn't possible anyway. And realizing divine love is unconditional brings us security and assurance. If you're a follower of Christ, you can always depend on the Heavenly Father's unfailing care, even when you have failed. He will never leave you, and His Spirit within each believer is evidence of His constant presence. If you've ever watched the ocean, you know that its waves keep rolling onto the shore. Sometimes they crash with unbelievable force, and other times they're gentle. Either way, they can't be stopped. Likewise, there's nothing you can do to stop Almighty God from loving you.